Hello and welcome. Today we have a pretty big announcement coming from Nightscope at their annual 2021 shareholders meeting. Uh, Nightscope, as most of you know and might even be invested in, is a massive company within the equity crowdfunding world with nearly 26,000 investors and hundreds of millions of dollars raised, which is why it's so big that they announced today that they will be going public on the NASDAQ. It's a huge announcement. Let's hear from them. Today, we're proudly announcing that Nightscope will be filing with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission to qualify an offering to raise up to $40 million in connection with an intended public listing on NASDAQ. In a traditional IPO, what happens next is after the regulatory review, the company will go on a two-week roadshow coordinated by investment bankers and the majority, if not all of the IPO shares, will be bought up by Wall Street and the allocation of these shares to Main Street retail investors just about disappears. If Main Street wants to buy them, well, it can just wait in line until the shares are listed and buy them along with everyone else in the public markets. We don't think this cookie cutter approach is right for us and our awesome stockholders that have stood by us through thick and thin. All 28,000 of you helped create Nightscope and we believe it's only right to prioritize you and ensure you have the first chance to buy the shares in a public listing, and only after that will we offer them to Wall Street and the general public. Let me repeat that. Our investors that supported us through this journey go first. So we're gonna make it very easy for you to make your indications of interest for a share allocation by simply going to nightscope.com. For US-based existing investors, you can download the My IPO app or visit myipo.com and set up your brokerage account there. For international existing investors, we've set up a separate existing international investors button on our site for you to be able to participate as well. We hope you accept this gesture in the spirit it is intended. We are profoundly and eternally grateful for your unwavering support of the Nightscope team and we wanted to show you our appreciation by changing the public listing process to make this all happen. And there you have it. Um, the next part, there's a like disclaimer, but yeah, that's the big announcement. And here's the website where you can indicate your interest in share allocation, nightscote.com slash investors. And this is the site he was talking about where you'll get all the information you need. If you're a USA investor and you were a prior investor, click right here, my IPO, which is their thing, and yeah, indicate your interest. It's that simple. Utilizing the testing the waters. Here we go. And then this is how they're going to do it. On um, the first part, they're essentially just using a test the water phase to gauge, gauge interest so that they can kind of like reserve shares, similar to what, what Start Engine does. Um, kind of a lot of it's just the legality behind it. They have to do certain things and they can't do certain things. And this is the process be behind what they wanted to do and how they had to do it essentially to not get, you know, sued by the SEC. So here we go. Regulatory period, allowing us to speak publicly about the process without running afoul of regulatory compliance items, such as the quiet period, typically associated with a traditional initial public offering. Number two, we will follow the required documents with the Security and Exchange Commission for review, which typically can be at least 30 days and may be extended or shortened depending on the quality, completeness, and complexity of the transaction. Number three, in the meantime, as indicated prior, we can begin the process by accepting indications of interest from our existing stockholders. Once the offering is qualified, you can submit your final allocation request and we can begin the formal allocation of shares by accepting your request with our broker dealer. Number four, given the massive quantity of stockholders, um, we, we kind of broke the system. So to avoid any confusion, you will soon be notified of the need to transfer Nightscope's outstanding stock from Carta to ComputerShare, which will then allow post conversion to common stock from preferred stock for you to transfer to a brokerage firm of your choice or trade the existing shares directly through your computer share account. We're setting up an information packed FAQ section on our investor relations site to help out. 
We don't know of any other company that has done a direct offering and listing with this number of stockholders. So please be patient with us as we're all in mm, slightly uncharted territory uh, to say the least. So that one real quick is pretty important and you definitely want to pay attention to your email to make sure you get that email because if you don't transfer those shares, I'm sure they'll essentially not just let anything too terrible happen, but definitely check your email and sit there and make sure that you get that email and uh, transfer over, you know, transfer agents so that you're able to do everything they need to do for this public listing. Um, probably the sooner the better, but yeah, I would definitely check that out and make sure everything is um, up to par and you know just be vigilant if you don't receive any emails or any information about that I would definitely 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 reach out and uh, make sure you know what's going on with that uh, please note the shares you indicate your interest in now would not be subject to a lockup additionally on the first day of trading you could buy more shares in the open market on any platform such as Robinhood Fidelity E-Trade or whatever your favorite broker might be our ticker symbol we reserved on NASDAQ some time ago will finally be put to good use. The ticker symbol is KSCP. Number six, once the SEC completes its review and qualifies the offering, we intend to market the offering for about 30 to 45 days. Once the bankers and the company have determined that we're okay to proceed, the company will complete the public listing process and the underwriter will formally notify NASDAQ. The closing will occur and trading begins the next day. Number seven. Lastly, let's talk a little bit about price. It is my personal view that yes, there are a number of factors on what the share price might be on a given day. But the basic first principle is very simple. Supply and demand. There's only a certain quantity of shares that remain liquid in the public market called the float. And if no one wants those shares and few people are buying them, then of course the price goes down. The opposite is likely true. We hope you agree that we've accomplished a great deal. We'll stick with us to see the mission through and remain a loyal stockholder for the long term. Yeah, and that's pretty much the full announcement. A few things there. The price, essentially he's saying don't sell off all on the same <laughs> on the first day because otherwise it's going to tank the price and look bad and all that stuff. But uh, that's essentially what he's asking is, you know, hear him out. Or if you are a stockholder this long, see what happens. Don't just tank it all on the first day so that, you know, nobody buys and it, you know, messes up the whole thing. Which, again, it's your prerogative and depending on how long you've been holding. And the, the other thing there is he said that any new shares purchased won't be subject to a lockup. So that means that if you do buy in this pre-IPO right now, you can sell essentially the first day of trading. Uh, sounds like any shares purchased prior to that will be subject to a lockup, which is probably fine and fair as they do have just an insane amount of shareholders and, um, you know, getting uh, building that base prior to pretty smart to not just have it all sell off on the first day and the last thing is probably the fact that um kind of like the timeline from the sounds of it they said the transfer agent things are going to be over the next couple weeks so probably two weeks or so is when they're going to try to get that all done and completed so you know again be looking out for that 45 days of the market offering there's going to be some other stuff they're raising up to 40 million so I don't know when this exactly obviously is going to be but it looks like this sounds like this is actually going to be over the next few months I don't I don't this doesn't sound like something that's going to be over the next, you know, year, like it might potentially be an issue. You know, that I think they reserved, reserved their stock ticker in late 2020. So this could very well be something that happens by the end of the year. So definitely be checking up on this and looking out because this could be, um, pretty big, but yeah, that's, um, that's all we got today. Thanks for watching.